Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time again about hardware. Yeah, this time we are talking about light emitting diodes, what they are, what they do and so on. Yeah. Well, you have in your Arduino starter kit, you should have some diodes. Yeah. I know in this starter kit I am using, they are located somewhere here in a separate box. Here they are. Yeah, you see there is a separate box in again. We'll also take out the resistors because I'm pretty sure we have to use them afterwards. Close the box. So here is this little box. Inside the little box you should find here quite a number of diodes. These are diodes. Look at that. Look at that. This is a, this is a light emitting diode. This little thing. 5 mm in diameter, typical 5 mm LED. Yeah. Do you see there is a, a long leg and a short leg? You have the red ones, you have the blue ones, yeah. you have the, they all look pretty much the same. You have the yellow ones, yeah. there are green ones, yeah. the white ones come out. Uh, here it is. <laughs> yeah, there are white ones. Yeah, so they come in multiple colors. Yeah, you do not even have only light emitting diodes in there. You also have regular diodes. This, for instance, is a regular diode. Come here. Yeah. This here. Yeah. This is a, a regular diode, looking like this. Look a little bit different, yeah? They are axially mounted, they are, I have all connections on one side. So the question now is, what is a diode? Yeah? What is a diode? I'm trying to explain to you. So we're talking about diodes, right? So I will simply note diodes. A diode is a so-called semiconductor. Okay, what is a semiconductor? Well, I'm pretty sure you know there are conductive materials, conductors, mostly metals, yeah, which will lead electricity, where electricity can pass. Yeah? If you're using a conductor, you plug it here, you plug it there, then the electricity is at another place. Yeah? Then there are so-called isolators, which do not conduct, yeah? which will simply block electricity. Air is something like this. Yeah? Air is an isolator. Electricity will not flow from your power plug to, into the air. Or plastics, or something like this. The coating of, of, of cables is isolating material. Isolators. And what are semiconductors? Half conductors? Huh? Well, basically, semiconductors are isolators. Okay. Uh, why is there a different name? Well, because they have a special form of isolator. They have a crystal structure. Yeah. A very regular crystal structure yeah. and this regular crystal structure this can be made dirty mm -hmm. dirty means I can replace single atoms yeah, more or less inside this crystal structure with another material yeah. instead of silicium I'm using gallium or something like this yeah. With those foreign materials, yeah, I can select how conductive this material is. Yeah. I can select if I'm putting in more wrong or false or not base atoms. Yeah, it's very conductive. If I'm putting in less, it's not that conductive. Yeah. And they have also a lot of different different uh, properties yeah. and the diode is now a combination of two such 
semiconductor materials. One, one made dirty with a material which is, you know, have one electron too much and one made dirty with one electron too less. Yeah. And compared to the original, original material. And then you have a certain effect. A diode itself is acting as sort of a valve. Yeah? The symbol of a diode looks like that. Yeah? It has two connections and then this is the symbol of the diode. And this already indicates what it is. Yeah? So there is current and there is a voltage. And whenever the voltage is in this direction, yeah, from the so-called anode to the cathode, yeah, from the plus side to the minus side, then the, the, the current will pass, yeah, it will flow. Yeah. If the voltage is in the other direction, yeah, then there is no current running. Okay, there's no current flowing. So this is acts as a sort of a check valve simply, yeah? non-return valve for electrons or for, for, for current. Yeah? In this direction current may flow, in this direction it is blocked. Okay? Acting like a check valve. This, this here, these standard diodes, they have here a little marking. This is marking, it's a line and this is marking the minus side. Yeah? So here is a minus cathode and here is plus, this is the anode. Yeah. And if we have a special material inside there, yeah, special things and so on, yeah, then such thing is happening. Yeah. Happening is produced. A light emitting diode. Yeah. And a light emitting diode means if current is running through, yeah, then this thing starts to glow. Okay? It will emit light huh? just because of the, of the flow of the current. The semiconductor will emit light. And now the symbol of a LED is simply that. Yeah? So we are emitting light. Huh? And depending on the material which is used inside there, yeah, it emits a certain wavelength. Yeah? It does not just emit light, it emits a very specific wavelength. Yeah? And of course the wavelengths of red and green and blue and so on, they are all different. Yeah? They are all different wavelengths. Yeah? White is always a mixture between different LEDs. Yeah? And so I, can, I get out a specific color depending on the material which is used inside. Yeah? That the coating has also this color is not really necessary. There are even LEDs out there where the coating is just uh, epoxy resin, clear epoxy resin, not, not colored one, and they are also lighting red and blue and, and green depending on the material which is used inside. Yeah? However, you know, if you have a box of LEDs and every LED is looking exactly the same and one is lighting red, blue, then it's just like what you're grabbing. This is the reason why it's it's colored, actually. Yeah. So, what is what are the connectors now? You see, such LED, standard LED, five millimeter LED, has a long leg and a short leg. Yeah? The long one is the plus, and the short one is the minus. Okay? So, if I draw here now this LED. There is a longer leg and there's a shorter leg. This is plus and this is minus. Okay. And if you look, if you look close to this edge, yeah, you will notice there is a flat spot. So if you're looking from the upside, it looks like that. Yeah. There's a flat spot and here's this ring. This ring, this ring here, has here a flat spot. 
And this flat spot is at the minus side. This is how you can determine if it's stuck in what is minus, what is plus. So this is the LED, yeah, light emitting diet, special form of a diet which is acting as a check valve. This means we have to take care where we put in plus and minus. Okay? The issue now is that this LED or all diets they have the following characteristic. Okay? So this is this is the flow or the the, the, the current. Yeah? This is I. And this is UF. Here, we we'll can also make it a little bit too negative. In negative, I will draw it only approximately. Yeah. In negative, this is always this is always zero. Do we have somewhere a really big red one? Uh, well, you see this one. Here, this is always zero. Then here it will stay zero. And once, once we have reached, we reached a certain value here, yeah. Yeah. a certain UF, yeah. then suddenly the, the current is increasing and is increasing very fast usually. Yeah. And this is an issue. Yeah. Why is this an issue? Because simply if we put this UF, yeah, depending on the material, yeah, this has 2.7 volts, this has 3.2 volts, depending on which color, which material is used inside, in this range somewhere. Yeah. So if we are connecting 5 volts from our Arduino directly to an LED, it will reach high, 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 high currents, yeah, and these currents will simply destroy the LED. Yeah, you don't have to try it, it is not even funny, it will not smoke, nothing, it will just not lit. Because the current is running through this, through this uh, semiconductor material, it is melting down, that's it. Will not lit, it will not light anymore, nothing, yeah? just destroyed. Yeah? Not even funny. Uh, a lot of more funny things to, out there to destroy. Yeah? So, how do we limit now this? This current. Well, these things come there into, into question. Yeah? We have to use a resistor, a resistor which is limiting the current. Yeah? So actually what we need to do, we need to put in a resistor and then the diode. Yeah? And if we have here 5 volt yeah, as a total, it's pretty safe yeah, to use here 220 ohms. Yeah. The 220 ohm resistor will limit the current through our LED, it's an LED here, in a way that this is just bright enough and li lighting good. Uh, some of them are a little bit brighter, some of them are a little bit less bright, because actually we have different flow voltage, voltages here, and uh, yeah, you, know, you have we, we are somewhere we are here. Some sometimes we are here. We are at a different position in the in the in the line. Yeah? So these some colors are brighter than other colors. If we want to have it exact, we would use a special resistor for each color of, of, of LED. Well, we are not going to do that. Yeah? We are using 220 ohms. This is sufficient. Yeah? You can find 220 ohms somewhere in your, in your back here. You have quite a lot of resistors. Here it is 100k at 100,000, 10k at 10,000, 10 at 10 ohms, of course. What have we got here? 2K, 2000, 1K, 220, there they are. And you know, there's a reason why they are that many. 220 ohm resistors, these are we using. Yeah? They have the color code 
uh, red, red, black, black, brown. Uh, red is two, red, red is two, two, black, zero. Uh, then 220, zero raised by the power of zero. And then the last one is, is tolerance. So these colors on the on the on the resistors do mark which it is. Yeah. If you don't know the colors or you don't want to read it, yeah, you know, don't pull out old. Yeah, then you know which ones you've got. Yeah, but just by comparing. Okay, so that's the diet. Yeah. The thing we are going to do next is we use our breadboard. We use our diode, we use our, our resistors, yeah? and we want to connect our Arduino to this whole stuff yeah? and turn on and off this LED with the help of the Arduino. So pretty much what we have done in our first program where we have let blink the internal LED, we want to do now with an external LED. Now that we know what an LED is and what a resistor is and what a breadboard is, well, we can just start. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.